Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well today on Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Yeah, I wanted to address the Caitlin Clark situation, the eye poke. I looked at the game, and when the foul happened, uh, Dejanay Carrington fouled Caitlin on Caitlin's jump shot. When I looked at the video, it looked like just a basketball play. Uh, she contested the shot, and maybe her follow-through um, was a little excessive. But when I looked at the video again in slower time, not real time, it was an egregious play. Just shocking. I'm surprised that the WNBA has been so quiet about it. Uh, and I have to give Kaylin some credit because I've been kind of hard on her in certain situations about whining and uh, just showing the refs up, you know, the hands up and the arms out and the palms up. Uh, but in this situation, man, I see her in a totally different light because she's actually downplayed the situation. Uh, she's continued to say that the poke in the eye wasn't intentional, even though the video clearly, clearly in my mind, 100% shows that it was intentional. I'm 61 years old, been around this game all my life, uh, and I don't wear glasses. I've had pretty good eyes. I've been blessed to have pretty good vision. That eye poke was as intentional as it gets. And I'm really surprised that the WNBA has been so quiet about it. Uh, we noticed Dejanae Carrington has been quiet about it, but the WNBA has been so quiet, and I'm stunned. They haven't been as quiet when there's been some physicality going on, uh, some shoves that have happened over the course of the year. Um, Caitlin's had her. She's had some culpability in some of it. Uh, she's done some pushing as well. But in this situation here, totally out of control. Just ridiculous. Something that should never happen in sports, in any sport. That young lady uh, was poked in the eye. And for her to continue to say, uh, to downplay it, tells me a lot about her character. It was a play that warranted a suspension. And I know game two is tonight, uh, and Dejanay is probably be allowed to play. But that play there, that was as dirty as it gets. And those that don't believe me, all you got to do is look at the video. Don't look at it in real time. Just look at the video again and watch it when they show it slowly. Totally intentional. Her hand goes like a claw and sticks Kaylin in the face. That obvious. That obvious. And that bothers me because the, the WNBA, I know Kaylin's the mill ticket. And they've defended her on a lot of situations that weren't as excessive as this. But to be quiet about this incident, it, it baffles me. It kind of blows my mind. I don't know what they could do about it at this point since it happened a few days ago. But something needs to be done moving forward because that play should not be allowed by any player and it should not be allowed to happen to any player. If I'm playing back in my day, I'm fighting after. If I'm in the locker room because I'm getting my eye patched up or whatever it may be, and I'm showing that video on tape, there's, an there's a chance that I might respond, leave out the locker room, head out to the court, and we're going to have a problem. I, I love the game, and I know it gets physical at times, but there's no one on this earth that I'm going to try to let possibly ruin my career. That's out of bounds. That has nothing to do with basketball when you start making plays like that. And and I'm just stunned. I'm, I'm hoping that we hear more about it, but I'm saying it right here. And I'm, I'm in real time right now. That play was as dirty as it gets in any sport. And for the WNBA to be so quiet about it, they haven't been as quiet about other situations. Uh, the Stephen A. Smiths, uh, I've seen him talk about it. The Shannon Sharp has talked about it. And they've talked about other incidents. But this one needs to be talked about a little more. And something needs to be done quickly. Uh, these kind of plays cannot be allowed, ever. I don't care if it's elementary school, middle school, high school, college, professional sports. These kind of plays should not happen. And something must be done about it. So I want to give Caitlin credit, first of all, for being unanimous rookie of the year. But I want to give her even more credit for showing some true character in a situation like this. She could have made a mountain out of a molehill, but it's really not a molehill. 
This was something that she could have really, really, really went all out about and talked about day after day after day. But she has not done that. And for that, I want to give her, uh, I want to commend her for that. But uh, WNBA, I'm hoping uh, that I, we hear more about this situation. Things like this can never happen again. Um, Dejanae Carrington, I think, is a, a good player. But she got away with one this time. And I'm saying it right here, clear as day. She got away with one. And I just hoping it never happens again. Not only her, any other player in WNBA, NBA, it doesn't matter. There's no place for that in basketball. I had to chime in on that. Um, I want everybody to stay safe out there. Uh, have a great day. Talk to you again soon.